I don't have a lot of 11 year olds that shoot under par, right? Like I don't have a, this slew of uh, kids that shoot those scores. We have a pretty big group of people who can shoot par better, but I don't, you know, I haven't, I haven't taught like 100 11 year old kids who are that good before. So for me as a coach too, all of it is a learning experience just like the player at any level, right? I, I learn just as much as I go through as anyone else does and like refining things. Um, but he still fits within the same structure, right? The, the same principles hold true whether someone's trying to go from shooting 130 to 100 or from 75 to 65. He's kind of the perfect storm of things, right? Of He works incredibly hard at it, so he spends the time. He's very intelligent. He gets the process of how it works. He's very good, just kind of as is. Um, Someone posted up something the other day about like uh, not having talent. Like I don't buy into the fact that we're all having on an even playing field. So I think he inherently has potential. Um, like I don't think LeBron James and I have the same basketball potential. I don't think we were born with the same thing. I think he has talent, um, and it's and it's kind of you're, we're seeing that now. So um, you know if you're shooting 65 or under par around par, and the feedback is well something needs work, it's all relative. So we went through and did some short game pieces and he hits like, it was unbelievably good. Um, and it's, it's sort of an interesting scenario when you, when you get someone in that situation. I think it's equally as important as when it's off is what do you do when a kid or person comes in and they're doing really well and they're still doing really well. I think the first thing is you just, I get out of the way and don't mess anything up. Um, and then I'm just increasing difficulty. We're gonna start here, and then we're gonna work our way back. Okay, I'm gonna do some different wedge shots from different lies. But first, I wanna see you just hit some. So I'm gonna throw some out, and I want you to roll through them. When these, when these aren't good when you're playing, when they're off, mm -hmm. wh what do they look like? Short, long, left, right? Short. Short. Short because you didn't hit it solid, or short just? Didn't hit it solid. Okay, so contact. Yeah. Okay. More fat or more thin? Fat. Okay. Let's go next, I'll just work down the line here first. Okay, give me this one over here. Okay, let's go back to that far one. I do, I do, I do see, I do see some things that would lead to those shots, though. All kidding aside, keep come walk with me. Let's go back. Forty-three pin, thirty-one front. You having these issues from like green side up till about how far? Um, at sixty yards up high. Okay, so it's like fifty and in. Yeah. Okay, forty-three front, or forty-three pin, thirty-one front. I'm gonna throw some. Let's randomize our scenarios here a little bit. So I'm assuming these are better than normal? Yeah. Okay. Hang on. 37 pin, 25 front. Your technique is beautiful, dude. There's one or two little setup things we're gonna have a conversation about. What do you do different when you have a rough lie like this compared to if you're in the fairway? I open up the club more and I do a little more swing. Okay, so open the face a little bit more and then add a little speed. Yeah. Okay. 32 to the front, 44 to the pin. Okay, let's say you have this here too and you need to go even higher than that. So if you had to go even higher and softer, what would you do to do that? I would open up my stance more and get lower and open the club face even more. Okay, so face more and then probably add even more speed, yeah? Yeah. So that would be like the full like flop yeah. from there, yeah? Let's do that again. Yeah, so are the, is that what you're getting when you're playing when you do that? Is it? Is it like, do you... Are you, if you're just trying to hit a normal shot, are they pretty good? Yeah. Is it, and to tell me honestly, I'm just asking. Because mm -hmm. your normal ones look very good to me. But like that needs to be better. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is it when you're trying to hit a certain shot that you hit it fat, or is it, is it, it happens on your normal ones too? I'm trying to hit it higher out of the rough, and yeah. then it gets shorter and fat. Okay. So it's this, it's this scenario more than the normal. Mm -hmm. What percentage of normal shots from like 20 to 50 do you hit poorly from like a fairway normal shot? Maybe like 30. 30% 30 bad? Yeah. Okay, that's too high still. Mm -hmm. I think, I've seen you hit 0% bad. Those two are, need to be better. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about this now. 44 pin, 33 front. 40 yards. Yeah, so 40 at most. Yeah. Right? So probably 35, 37 to 40. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if we want to go higher than normal, we have to add loft. Right? That would be the biggest one. But I don't know that we need to make the other setup changes as drastic. So can you show me your, show me a normal 40 yard setup shot here. Okay? Now just open the face a smidge. Not, that's too much. Like that. Can we hit one from there and see the difference? So we're not really adjusting the other setup pieces, just the club face. So show me a normal 40, set up like you're going to hit a normal 40. And just open the face a little, okay? Let's go ahead and just hit a normal 40 shot from there first. Yeah, part of, too, when you're trying to hit that, like, floppy shot, is you're, you're overdoing those. We're going to stay here. We're overdo you're overdoing those setup pieces. Like, that setup, how you have it, is like, is like a full flop, like, over a bunker, Phil Mickelson type of shot. Like if I was hitting a high 40 from here, let me borrow that for a second, that cut. If I was hitting my normal 40 from this sort of scenario, I'd probably be like here, and my high 40 would just be like here. Okay. So here's my normal, here's my high. So ball like a smidge forward and face a smidge open, but I'm not going like this from 40. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's play with how far forward and then amount of club face opening. Because, hey, if I set up like that from four yards and made that swing, I would come up short and fat, too. Because that's what that, that swing is designed for you to hit behind the ball. Mm -hmm. Right? Like out of a bunker or a big flop shot. So normal 40 swing, just ball slightly forward and face slightly open. That's it right there. That's good. Yeah. I don't think there's too many scenarios where you need to hit it much higher than that. Do, or do, do you, I mean, do you have, are you facing someone when you're playing where you need to go higher than that? Really. Yeah. Does this make sense? Yeah. I don't think you need to hit a shot with that setup how you had before. Not that exaggerated. So just normal setup ball slightly forward face slightly open. That's it. Cool? That's it. He's yeah. going like flop bunker shot. Alright. Yeah. I yeah, like I, I like that setup with like the feet wider, the handle lower and all this, like green side. But the more I go like this, the more I lower the handle and open the face. Yeah, I mean, you, you'd have to swing so long and fast to get it to go forward. You know what I'm saying? Like that by design, mm -hmm. you're supposed to hit a little bit behind it, yeah. like a bunker shot, Yeah. right? So, it's it's, to yeah, yeah, just, 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 just go make it easier. Take your normal 40 and then just ball slightly farther forward, face slightly open. And basically the same swing first first and then we can go a little more open and a little bit faster and longer to go higher but we don't need that other setup stuff with me on that yeah like, oh, i don't know okay first things first this is like you're in a bad spot here mm -hmm. you know what i mean this is like on the green we're fine a scenario like this now we might have to exaggerate things a little bit more yeah so show me how you would hit this Dude, beautiful, dude. Like, super good. You, are you okay from this far away? Yeah. It's more like the 20, 30, 40. Yeah. Shot. <clears throat> Shoot, I better be careful. I got it. Everyone beat me. 42, 29. So we got about the same shot. 29 front, 42 pin. So this be flying like 30, Flatter. 35, no more than 35. So show me like a normal 35, but then give me a ball slightly more forward, face slightly open. That's it. Good. That's it right there. Yeah, dude. Because I don't think you need to hit it much higher than that. And if you need to hit it higher than that, I would do a little bit more in swing, not more with the setup. Meaning, 
Like, okay, if you had to come, if you had to hit it even higher with that, but you're only allowed to move it that far forward, and you're only allowed to open it a little bit, what would you do in your swing to hit it higher? If you'd oh, hit like a higher bunker shot. After here, I would like leave the club open. Yeah. That's it. <clears throat> yeah, you, you, would, you would maybe like flip it more. That's it. That's it, dude. I think you just, when you were doing it, didn't, you just overdo the setup and maybe didn't realize it. Same thing, let's go even higher with the same setup. So more, hey, more, take your set, do that, take your setup again. So pass the ball, even let that release even more. Okay. That's beautiful. Okay, same thing. If you wanna go higher than that, let's go more, more in swing with that release. Keep that face open. Show me, show me your way of keeping the face open like you did before I changed that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, play with it when you're practicing with, in terms of on the follow through within that setup, but that's as much as I want you to open the face and as forward as the ball should go. But play around with on the way through if you do better with just feeling like it stays open or if you actually kind of let it get a little bit flippy. Neither one is right or wrong. Just play with that. Your results right now is easier the way you do it compared to doing this, but play with that and see. With me? Yeah. Okay. Let me give you some other scenarios with the same thing. I think this looks really good, bud. Super good. 31 pin, 20 front. So talk me through what you're doing on this one. I'm going to land it like 25 yards. Okay. Just kind of normal trajectory? Yeah. Okay. So if you had to go higher. And put it a little more in the front of my stance and okay. let it release at the end of okay. the Uh huh. Okay. So let's do that again. Okay. So as the club face gets more open and as you go more forward and it adds loft. Right? Mm -hmm. To still get the distance, you need speed. speed. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good. Like, you, you shouldn't have more than like mm -hmm. one or two of these around, like at most, right? Like, you're not, you're not like, you're not having like 10 of these per round. No. This isn't like your tee shots being off and you gotta hit 14 of them. This is like a once in a while thing, right? You're not missing short side yourself every. Green, you must shoot 6'5". 31 pin, 21, so still same distance. Let's go same thing, a little bit higher. Good, dude. This is getting a little ridiculous here but let's see how good we are. 30 front, 40 pin. Now this is elevated, it's uphill, and it's into the wind, yeah? Yeah. So what do we say, 40 pin? So this is probably dropping like 40 pins. So this is probably dropping like 35. Yeah. But this one, you, this is a shot where you probably would have to go a little higher, mm -hmm. yeah? So this is like 40 yard shot, but with the face open ball over forward, and you gotta add the speed. Like that. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, dude. You're really good at this. Does it mean is that like is that better than before? Is this the same as you were yeah, doing? It's better. Yeah. So what in your mind is the difference between Um it's just the setup. Just the setup. Yeah. And then the more you open the face, more the more you have to add speed, yeah, to offset it. And then like if you're doing a forty yard normal shot, like for me, forty yards is just below hip on both sides. If I'm going higher, I go ball forward, face out of the open. Either I'm adding speed or I'm lengthening my swing a little bit too. 
right? That would be the other part of this. So just adding speed and or lengthening swing. Yeah? I'm gonna give you one more. I don't know how hard I gotta make this. 46 pin, 36 front. So this is dropping 40. So this is probably like a 50 length swing. With the speed. That. Cool. I think that's phenomenal. I'm gonna just keep making this harder until it gets too hard. So let's say you had to do the same thing, but you had to go even higher than that. What would we do? We'd probably go a little more with the face yeah. open, right? More front. A little more swing length and a little more speed. This is getting kind of goofy. Yeah, you, I, listen, you're not gonna get a harder shot from 50 mm. from here. You feel good with that? Yeah. Let's go get these.